Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. During Pastor Benny Hinn's recent miracle services in Downey, California, he invited Brian Carn to minister in all three meetings, and the prophetic anointing was evident and accurate in amazing ways. 10143. Is that your address? What, what is he doing? Talk to me. Ah, uh, that's his old address. Hey. The Spirit of the Lord says that there is a spirit from your old house that have followed you to your new house. And that's why you cannot seem to have peace where you are. But the Spirit of the Lord brought you here this night that he might grant unto you supernatural peace. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. But I see in the realm of the Spirit, I saw a doctor a doctor walked up to me. When he walked up to me, he put a paper in my hand. On top of the paper, I saw the word fibromyalgia. This is what the Lord is saying to me, that you received a report from the doctor where they told you that you had fibromyalgia. But the Spirit of the Lord said, this night, you're completely healed by the power of God. Was he right? Right on, she says. Somebody gave you a letter that said fibromyalgia. Huh? Diagnosis uh, was 14 years ago, and I've been dealing with it off and on. And tonight, um, when you actually, when you're reading the word, I just felt this heat cover my whole body. See, when we talk about Jesus, he always shows up. <laughs> Glory. Praise God. I want you to remember that name like a Kyler. For I saw <laughs> in the realm of the spirit an angel approach, but I also saw a spirit. And this spirit had in his hand a spirit of depression. On the board, I saw the name Chris. This is what the Lord said to me. He said, tell her that the attack that is against Chris is an attack, is an attack to subvert and to hinder your assignment. It is just a frustration, saith the Lord, to keep you depressed and to keep you down. But the Lord says, I'm sending an angel even to your house and I'm visiting Chris and Kyler, saith the Lord. Somebody open your mouth and release a praise. Do you know who Chris is and Kyler is? Chris is her son. Wow. And Kyler is her son. Wow. You just gave her the, her children's names. Wow. That's why she shook up like this. And her husband is a little shaken up. Kyler is in depression. You don't know that, but I do. Wow. And that's her, her young boy. Wow. And Chris is her older son. Wow. Pastor Benny asked Brian to speak to the overflow audience during one of the services in Downing. And the prophetic word of the Lord which was delivered can radically impact your life as it did for those in attendance. One word from the Lord can change your life. I mean, that, that, that's like all it takes. It, it doesn't take a whole bunch of fanfare. Isaiah 119 declares, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. John 2 and 5, Jesus was talking and he said, listen, Mary was talking about her son Jesus. She said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. If you learn how to follow instructions, you can get everything you need from God. There are things getting ready to happen in our country. However, in the midst of the darkness that is coming upon the world, God is raising up a people who are going to be the light of the world. But you cannot have light unless there's darkness. So darkness is going to cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon the people of God. People are not going to understand how we're living, how we're surviving, because while everybody else is losing their mind, going crazy, Isaiah 26 say, I will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. So, so many people are going to be falling by the wayside. That, that, I, I won't tell you this. 
I don't care who your disability is, who your social security is, you cannot have confidence in the government. You must know who your source is. And you got to know that I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help. Look at somebody say, God is my source. Tell that to somebody else. Say, God is my source. Tell that one more person, God is my source. I was talking to one lady the other day and I was talking to her about believing God and about giving. She said, prophet, I, I, I just can't do that. I say, why? She said, I'm on a fixed income. I asked her, who fixed it? Now, now, you shall have whatever you say. Do you believe that? Yeah. All right. Now, you see my mama here. My mama used to work at this place called Aetna Insurance, right? And I used to seek the Lord and pray, 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 like go in my room for a long time, right? Well, one day, I told my mama, it was late at night. And I, she had rollers in her head and everything. And it was really late at night. And I walked up to her. I said, Mama. She said, what? I say, the Lord told me to tell you this. I, and uh, and, uh, and uh, I say, you got to believe this. And I got to believe this. She said, okay. I say, the Lord told me to tell you, your job is going to pay you to leave. <laughs> so she shouted. But I know she didn't believe me. But she just shouted because I was her son. And she didn't want to make me feel bad. You understand? I say, mama, your job going to pay you leave. So she shouted, praise the Lord, I receive it. Well, at the time, she was going through hell and high waters at her job. So she most definitely didn't believe that her job was going to pay her to leave. And one day, my mother came in about 12, 1 o'clock, screaming, hollering, shouting. I said, what you shouting for? She said, I went to work today, and they called me in the office. I said, they did? She said, yeah. I say, well, what happened? She said, they call me in there, and they say, we paying you. You're getting on our nerve. We're just going to pay you to leave the job. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Everybody say, hey. hey. I just left Pastor Rod Parsley's church. I was only supposed to be there for one night, right? The power of God fell. We was there for two weeks. That's never happened in this church, right? I told Pastor Parsley, I said, Pastor Parsley, you're not going to believe me, but if you do this, God going to bless you. He say, what? I said, give $10,000 right now. He started jerking and bucking and shouting, doing a, you know. I said, Pastor, that ain't giving now. You just shout right now. Lord said, give it. Praise God. I say, you give it, and tomorrow, God going to blow your mind. He gave that seed of $10,000, and the next day he got to church. If I'm lying, God going to kill me, y'all. The next day he got to church. And a woman put a chick in his hand for $200,000. Everybody say, hey. I was at his service and another woman came and I told her, I said, give me $77. She said, for what? I said, because I told you to. I said, God going to give you a blessing and it's going to come tomorrow. It's going to be supernatural. Matter of fact, I want to prophesy to everybody here that supernatural increase is about to hit your life. If y'all don't shout better than that, I'm going to throw this mic at you. Somebody shout, supernatural increase is coming to my house. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Look at your neighbor. Say, I'm going to get a check in the mail. Tomorrow. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Say tomorrow. Say Tomorrow. I don't know who that's for, but I feel that for somebody. Say tomorrow. Now, I dare you to yell out your address so they know where to bring the money to. Come on, call out all your addresses. Everyone up. Now, hold on. So I told this woman, I told this woman, I say, ma'am, I said, give me $77. She said, okay, I'm going to try it out. And I say, God going to blow your mind Tomorrow, I don't get them words often, but listen here. Let me tell you something about Prophet Carr. I ain't the greatest preacher. I ain't the greatest singer, but let me tell you. If I tell you there's a TV in your backyard and you go home and the TV is not there, call the police. Somebody stole your TV. Okay? Say that to the bank. So, I want... <laughs> okay. So, I want... Listen, y'all. So, so, the Holy Ghost said to me, Tell that woman to give $77. So she gave $77, right? 
And I said, tomorrow, God going to blow your mind. Tomorrow. I said, it's going to be supernatural. I can't explain it, but it's going to happen tomorrow. So she came to church, you know, driving to come to church the next night. And she stopped at the convenience store so she would have some money to bring in church. Now, listen. If it's a lie, she told it. I'm just telling what she said, all right? Now, we got to church that night, and she went to go take out $100. When she went to take out $100, she got back her bank statement. It said she had $110,000. All she had was $200. So guess what I told her? Get to the bank at 8.59 tomorrow morning and take all that money at the bank and do not tell them they made a mistake because that was God. Say amen. Now, I'm, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this real strong. I got an assignment to the body because one place where we have messed up, we bless, we healed, we have power, we have deliverance, but the one place where the church is crippled is finances. It can hold you back. It can stop you. You can tell me something, you love God and everything, but let me tell you something. If you don't have money, it hinders what you want to do in the kingdom. Now, I need you to look at that person next to you and say, neighbor. neighbor. See, now, see that person next to you won't smile. Don't fool with them. Talk to somebody else, okay? No, don't, don't, even, don't even put up with them. You ain't got time for that tonight. Come on. Look at somebody. Say, neighbor. neighbor. God, God is going to use me to pay your house off. Now, see that? You don't believe that, do you? You don't believe that, do you? All it takes is what? One word. Say it again. One word from God can absolutely change your life. You think it takes a whole bunch of shucking and jiving and falling out? And that's not what it takes. All it takes is for God to speak one word into your life. And that one word can usher you from one season into a new season. The Lord said to me that 2015 was going to be a great year for the people of God. He said to me that this year would be the like the igniter or the precedence that would, that would set the pace for the next seven years of your life. That if you were tap into his rest this year, it's going to set you up. See, this year is a year of rest. You ain't supposed to be stressing. You ain't supposed to be mad. You ain't supposed to be letting folk get all under your skin. You tell folk, get out your face. I ain't got time for foolishness because this is a year. Somebody shout, rest! Yeah. And, and, and the enemy is going to do everything he can to upset your rest. Are you listening to me? But if you would tap into his rest, his Sabbath, his, his release, that everything that has been held up, God's getting ready to release that stuff in your life this year. I just need 30 of you that believe that to jump up and shout, come on, come on, come on. Now, are y'all ready? Because the release is going to take place in your life, but you got to talk with power. You know, some of you, you're just so quiet. I don't understand it. Now say it with power. Say more than enough. More than enough. All right, you sound good. You sound like you're in the backwoods of Georgia. Say more than enough. More than enough. Say too much. Too much. Overflow. Overflow. It's coming to my house. To my house. When? Yeah. When? Yeah. When? Yeah. When? Let's try it again. Say more than enough. More than enough. Too, much. Too much. Overflow. Overflow. Coming to my house. When? Yeah. Say more than enough. More than enough. Too, much. Too much. Overflow. Overflow. Coming to my house. My bank account. My ministry. My children. When? Yeah. 
win, win. Shout like you already got it. All right, now listen. There is a, 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 a window in the spirit. See, there's a window, and when that window comes, you have to move in it. Like, you can't take your time. When the spirit of the Lord say do something, you got to do it. Because there's a breakthrough in your obedience. Proverbs 3 and 5 say something real powerful. It say, trust in the Lord with what? You should read your Bible sometimes. Trust in the Lord with what? All your heart, lean not to your. Now see, that's what that's that's what messes with most of you. You're trying to figure it out, and the thing you're trying to figure out, he's already worked it out. You 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 sit there and you try to come up with a plan of how God gonna do this and where it's gonna come from, not understanding God got a million ways to bless you. God will make people bless you who don't even like you. God will make folk bless you and they don't even know why they're blessing you. But the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he can turn it whatsoever way he will. I'm telling you, this is the year that your student loan is going to be paid off. This is the year that every debt you got is going to be paid off. If you believe it, shout like you know something good. Now listen. Listen, listen, there is a window that opens in the spirit. And when that window's open, you got to move in it. You know, like, you can't hesitate, you can't sit up right now and understand it. You just got to do it. Because the key to your miracle is your ability to follow instructions. The Holy Ghost will test you on small stuff. I had a car that I really, really liked. And the Holy Ghost said, give away that car. So I start saying, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. That's not God. And you know, when you really don't want to do something, you say, Lord, if it's you, let a cow walk in my front yard. When I look at it, let it say, move. And I know it's you. How many folk know when you're supposed to do something, he don't let you rest till you obey him? I called the preacher. I said, hey, preacher, the Lord just told me to give you this car. He started crying. I said, well, you crying? I'm crying too. But I let it go because I know he was trying to get something to me. All I can tell you is this tonight. There's a grace upon my life that if I tell you something, you can put your life on it. One word from God can change your life. Somebody shout one word. One word. Say it again, shout one word. There's somebody on my right. Your name is like, a, I don't know if it's Theo or like a Theonte. The, Theo, Theonte. That's the name I hear on my right. Lift your hands. Come to me. See, you can't guess that name. God got to give it to you. You know, you can guess Mary, Joanne, Diane. Theonte, that's God. Praise God. Come on. Come, run. Run for us. Run. Lift your hands, stretch your hands toward them. For the hand of the Lord is on you, and you're chosen from the womb of your mother. And I saw, as it were, in the realm of the spirit, a family. This family is involved in the music industry. I'm looking at a young man. Whoever this young man is, I see him sitting in a studio. The spirit of God is saying to me, tell your brother, Baze Bele Diva Zamut Ushkabai. 
that God is beginning to breathe on that that he is attempting to produce. For I see something standing in his way, stopping him, but the Lord is opening a door. I also see in the realm of the spirit, shut your hands of water, shut your hands of water. Can I tell y'all what I see? You know, when I was a kid, right? Hey, 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 you caught the spirit, just one more. When I was a kid, and I had a party, how you doing? And I had a party, I would have like this little, uh, you know the little cone things that be on your head for your birthday? I see a cone on top of your head. Why, why am I seeing that? Today's my birthday. Today your birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, somebody shout in here like, you know, if y'all don't shout, I'm going to throw this mic. Everybody say, hey. Lift your hand. Lift your hands high. Every eye close, every hand uplifted. If I see eyeballs, I'm coming at it with a fork. <laughs> Lift those hands high. Every eye closed, every hand uplifted. The same Holy Ghost that just told me that boy's name and his birthday. The same Holy Ghost that told me to minister to Pastor Parshley to sow that seed. He's talking now. And I got five minutes to move quickly under this anointing. Because there's a window. The Spirit of God spoke to me walking into this sanctuary. I actually said it to me last night. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you at, but I'm going to only tell you what the Lord told me. And I don't care. I, I, I know you're giving, but I'm telling you what the Holy Ghost said to me. Every eye closed, every hand uplifted. And he said to me that this seed is going to set the pace for the next seven years of your life. I thank you that doors are being opened right now. I thank you for uncommon, unlimited favor Amen. being released Amen, on every individual under the sound of my voice. Father, I thank you that increase and doors are opening from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Somebody's trusting you tonight. They're stepping out in faith, believing the word of the Lord. Father, we decree miracles in Jesus' name. Lift those hands and pray in the spirit over your seed right now. Name your seed. Come on. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray it about Pray in the spirit. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus that seed will come back, might harvest for your glory and honor. And God's people said, Amen. You must understand how excited I am. And I don't have much time because that anointing is so real, it's so tangible. You can feel the presence of God. I mean, there in Downey, California, there was a mighty move of the Holy Ghost. And people came, and there were testimonies and miracles, and the miraculous took place. And I'm telling you, I want to give you an opportunity to tap into that anointing. Now, you got to hear me. You cannot just look at something on television and say, wow, look at what's happened there. No, that same anointing is present and able to operate in your life. Just one word from God. That's not a joke. That's not a gimmick. That's not a game. We're not here just trying to make money. Listen, the gospel must be funded for the furtherance of the kingdom. And in order for it to happen, it's going to take your finances and your seed and you giving unto the Lord. And I'm telling you, what better place to sow your seed into a ministry where souls are being saved? People are being healed and people are being set free. Just one word from God can change your life. That's why I travel all over the country. That's why I go from here to there to everywhere. And people are calling me, not because I'm handsome, not because I look good, which I believe I do, praise God. But I don't believe that's why. I believe that people are calling from near and far because they know that one word from God can absolutely change your life. 
Just one word. We don't need any gimmicks. We don't need any games. You don't need any miracle spring water. You don't need a, 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 a bar of soap. You don't need bread. Just one word. Psalm 105, 19 declared until his word came, talking about Joseph, who was in a prison. He was bound. He was oppressed. He was getting ready to, to be offered up, even maybe to die. But one word from God changed his situation. Psalm 119, 105 declare that thy word is a lamp unto my feet and it's a light unto my path. Psalm 119, 130 declares that the entrance of thy word giveth light. I don't care whatever dark situation is going on in your life. The entrance of the word from God brings light to it. There's somebody I'm talking to right now. Your son is in prison and you don't know how you're going to come out of this. But I want to let you know that one word from God can cause things to change. Matter of fact, I'm reminded of John the 11th chapter while Lazarus was sitting there in the grave about to die. Matter of fact, he had died. He was dead, super dead. You know, you would think that God would have showed up early, but God waited on him to be dead and stinking. You know, sometimes we want God to show up for us when the eviction notice hit our door. But sometimes he waits until the eviction notice hits the door, until your clothes are outside, and then it's raining. And then God will show up with a word that will pull you out of every pit of despair you're in. Well, I come with a word from God just like Jesus spoke to Lazarus. Come forth. You don't have to be down. You don't have to be depressed. You don't have to be sad. Make up in your mind that 2015 is going to be the best year of your life. Make up in your mind that whatever year it, it, it comes up, whether it be 16, 17, 18, uh, whatever year, make up in your mind that it's going to be the best year of your life because favor is going to rest upon you strong. Now, listen to me. I don't have much time. That anointing is here. It's permeating right now. There's a number on your screen. And I know you're saying, why is he so antsy? I'm excited. I'm happy because I know that this seed is getting ready to change your life forever. One word from God can do it. Listen, while that anointing is flowing, while the power of God is moving over this screen, there are exactly 40 people. Do not hesitate. Listen, I don't care. Do not hesitate. There are 40 people that the Holy Ghost is talking to you and he's challenging you at the, at, at right now while you're listening to me to put a seed of $1,000 into the soil. And I promise you something big, wonderful, amazing, exciting, and powerful is going to happen in your life. Listen, this year, terrible things are happening in America, but there's a people that are going to live by a spoken word word from the Lord. Whatever you're doing, I'm telling you, there's a number on the screen. There's a website. There's an address. Dial that number and call it now and sow your seed of $1,000. What are you sowing it for? A recovery seed, a seed of restoration that everything that was lost is being restored into your life. This is yours truly. I love you and I need you to understand this is your season to recover everything you lost. Dial that number right now. Go and talk to me. Ah, uh, that's his old address. Hey. hey. The spirit of the Lord says that there is a spirit from your old house that have followed you to your new house. And that's why you cannot seem to have peace where you are. But the spirit of the Lord brought you here this night that he might grant unto you supernatural peace. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. But I see in the realm of the spirit, I saw a doctor. Talk about Jesus, he always shows up. Glory. Praise God. I want you to remember that name like a Kyler. For I saw in the realm of the spirit an angel approach, but I also saw a spirit, and this spirit had in his hand a spirit of depression. On the board, I saw the name Chris. This is what the Lord said to me. 
He said, tell her that the attack that is against Chris is an attack to is an attack to subvert and to hinder your assignment. It is just a frustration, saith the Lord, to keep you depressed and to keep you down. But the Lord says, I'm sending an angel even to your house and I'm visiting Chris and Kyler, saith the Lord. Somebody open your mouth and release a praise. Do you know who Chris is and Kyler is? Chris is her son. Wow. And Kyler is her son. Wow. You just gave her the, her children's names. Wow. That's why she shook up like this. And her husband is a little shaken up. Kyler is in. A doctor walked up to me. When he walked up to me, he put a paper in my hand. On top of the paper, I saw the word fibromyalgia. This is what the Lord is saying to me, that you received a report from the doctor where they told you that you had fibromyalgia. But the spirit of the Lord said, this night, you're completely healed by the power of God. Was he right? Right on, she says. Somebody gave you a letter that said fibromyalgia. Huh? Diagnosis uh, was 14 years ago, and I've been dealing with it off and on. And tonight, um, when you actually, when you're reading the word, I just felt this heat cover my whole body. See, when we Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. During Pastor Benny Hinn's recent miracle services in Downey, California, he invited Brian Karn to minister in all three meetings, and the prophetic anointing was evident and accurate in amazing ways. 10143. Is that your address? What is it?